It is no accident that Keikoni Khan was born into an early Christian family, fleeing, escaping from North Korea, whose parents were ahead of their neo-Confucian feudal times. My parents believed girls could achieve whatever they wanted to do. They supported me all the way. I wanted to be a writer. Kori cheerfully confessed to me when we are a pair of lonely Koreans, reporters struggling to survive among 2,000 mainstream dailies on this vast, indifferent continent. It is a sheer karma that the telepathy was at work, at work between us. Our, since our first get-together in California, where she and I worked at the San Francisco Examiner and Sacramento Union respectively. To this Matumi, the youngest child from a big family, Connie, 50 years younger than I am, was my favorite baby sister, religious aunt, and tireless tiger mom and organizer for yellow journalism in 24-7 defense of waves of newcomers from war-ravaged homeland, we stood up for the voiceless and the powerless take it back to with the children running penny business in the violent urban centers in their adopted country. Looking back in hope, I dare say Kony Khan was in her, in her way to a rendezvous with her stone tusked times with a divine mission. Her life work, too many to cite here, transcend gender, her borders, culture, and race and with its major first as follows. First Asian with a full-time beat in several met metropolitan dailies, including LA Times and San Francisco Examiner. First Asian introducing us Asians and Asian Americans in their full humani humanity and the first Korean woman journalist and the first columnist on both sides of the ocean, and the first Lifetime Achievement Award by the Asian American Journalism Association in 1997 as a Los Angeles Times reporter, and above all, first writer, author, columnist with a rare gift of evoking the elusive ethos of her ancient land of Honi, Hong Kong, Moni Kong, through her hundreds of Arirang columns run on both sides of the Pacific. Several years before AAJ was born, a dozen of us first generation Korean Americans working in the mainstream media launched the Korean American Journalist Association as a black Korean relation group tense with escalating white media sensationalism and scapegoating. Our urgent goal was to first fair, accurate media analysis portrayal of the non-English speaking immigrant and encouraging their children to become newspaper men and women. Connie was the divine driving force. Without her passion and energy, KAJA, reaching more than 100 in membership, was an, just an out, outfit only name. Now, at last, Connie come, come, have, come, have, Connie come has come home as the ordained Presbyterian missionary 
as the variously last surviving member of her pioneering Christian family in the North Korea. Up in the big sky, she will be joining her refugee family running Christian school with exquisite with her with an exquisite Arirang refrain. Arirang, Arirang, Arario. Over her vanished hometown somewhere in Hanjongdo. Yes, never will, never fear. We all can come home again on our corny's everlasting gift of life. Thank you.